Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for telling my daughter I'm disappointed in her after learning the truth about her divorce. So, things have been pretty rough with my only daughter lately. My husband and I are both 55, and we've been married for almost 32 years. We have one daughter, who's now 30. She was in a long relationship and married for about nine years. For a while, we thought everything was great, but out of the blue, about three years ago, she decided to get a divorce. We were told it was a mutual decision, but it turned out her ex wasn't the best partner and there were a lot of things she wasn't happy with. We supported her decision to leave him. A year after the divorce, she introduced us to her new boyfriend. We thought it might be a bit soon for her to be dating again, but we went along with it because she seemed so happy. Her new boyfriend is a charming guy who treats her really well. Here's where things get messy. We were chatting with one of our daughter's friends who was in town, and we were talking about our daughter's job and her new boyfriend. Her friend mentioned that they were lucky to be in the same orientation group at work. Seeing our confusion, she filled us in with the whole story. Apparently, our daughter and her boyfriend actually met during orientation while she was still married, not after the divorce as we'd been told. This led to them getting closer and eventually her filing for divorce about a year later. Later that day, I asked to talk with my daughter. When I brought up what her friend had told us, she went pale and admitted it was true. She insisted there was no physical cheating, but it seemed like there was some emotional cheating going on. I told her that emotional cheating is still cheating in my book, and while I get that her marriage wasn't great, it doesn't excuse what happened. I told her I was disappointed and that it was hard for me to look at her and her boyfriend the same way now. I still love her and will be respectful towards her boyfriend, but this is a tough pill for me to swallow. She got pretty upset with me for not supporting her fully in her new relationship and her journey beyond the divorce. Answering some common questions from all of you. Yes, my daughter got married at 18. Her ex-husband was also 18 at the time. My husband and I did not think that getting married that young was a good idea, but supported her as she was an adult. I did not have a good understanding of the marital problems my daughter was experiencing, but she confirmed that there was no abuse from her ex-husband. She has always been a very private person, but that has never been an issue as she has always been honest with us. I received many messages and comments from you all, and I do appreciate the advice and wisdom you gave. I think the thing I struggled with the most was being lied to. I felt hurt that my daughter didn't want to tell me the truth. But I realized that this discussion wasn't about me. So I asked my husband for advice, and he recommended that my daughter and I sit down together and talk it out. My daughter agreed to talk to me with the condition that my husband mediate. My daughter started the conversation by explaining that she didn't tell us about the true story regarding her boyfriend for two main reasons. She was worried about being judged by me. Hearing this made my heart so sad. To see that my own daughter was worried about my judgment. She admitted that she was ashamed of how things went down with her divorce. She and her ex were going through some rough times, her work schedule being crazy, and her husband being depressed contributed. She met her then-boyfriend during this time and confided in him about these issues. Before she knew it, she was texting him every day and even going to his house to hang out with him and her friends. She realized at that time she was wrong. So she filed for divorce, and they started officially dating the day after her divorce was final. She again said she didn't physically cheat, but admitted she was not proud of how her marriage ended. The conversation then turned to my side. I reiterated that I supported her and her boyfriend. He is a kind and nice man, and he treats her well. And that I loved her unconditionally. I apologized for how I acted and asked if she could forgive me. She accepted my apology and told me that while my words hurt, I am still a good mother, and that my love for her and her boyfriend has been consistent. We agreed to go to some family therapy together in the future to continue working through these feelings. We cried, hugged, and I think things will be okay. 
people can screw up, including myself as my last post shows. But ultimately, good people will always be welcome in my home, and I never plan on changing that. Top comment. May cry. I'm just freaked out, to be honest. I thought this was my mom poster. I was with a guy for nine years, and we were married. We divorced three years ago, and I started talking to my current boyfriend as friends around the time I was in the process of leaving my abusive ex. He and my mom accused me of cheating while I wasn't. They just assumed as I spoke to him around the same time. She took my ex aside, although I tried to explain to her why I left. It hurts. I know it's very coincidental and looks bad, but I thought my mom would trust me. Honestly, I would admit it if we were, considering how I was treated by my ex. My mom tries to deny it now, but I'll never forget my ex on the phone with her and him making sure I could hear. It broke my heart. I've been cheated on before, and I felt afraid. Then when I spoke to her in person, she made a face, people with judgmental moms know the one, saying it was all very convenient. Participant 1 The thing I'm stuck on is why we are all taking Op's perspective that it was meeting the guy that sparked the end of the marriage. We actually have no evidence of that. First, there's a whole year between meeting him and divorcing, and we don't know how close they were at work in that year. Second, she also started a new job. Was it a first job, a first full-time, first in this kind of position? Did it change something in her home life, amount of money, workload, commute, and make how much she was expected to do at home stand out, because her ex was at minimum one of those guys who makes sure his wife does all the housework? Also, they'd been married a long time. Who knows how long she'd been trying to improve the relationship? Maybe the timing is completely disconnected from the job and the guy. But Op implies the guy is why and we all accept that in our responses. It's interesting because we should be responding that she literally had no reason to connect those things. Participant 2 What would have had her do exactly? Like, just run through the options here. She was in a marriage that she already wasn't happy with, and then she met somebody she does love. So what was supposed to happen? She broke off her marriage so she didn't end up cheating. That seems like the right choice to me. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.